What's going on guys, your boy Hansa back at it again today with another video, so check it out. Recently I've been using Splice to make some of my beats and I thought to myself, maybe I can make a video on it for Tutorial Tuesday, right? Give you a breakdown, give you a walkthrough, features and benefits, pros and cons, is it worth it, is it not? I'm also going to walk through the Splice mobile app. When I was watching YouTube videos on this topic right here, guys, I didn't really see anybody talk about that. But before we get into the video, guys, I want to make it clear I am not being paid or sponsored by Splice. Everything I'm seeing right here is my own personal opinion. With that being said, let's get into this video. Before I get into the video, guys, I'm going to let you know that I have some timestamps right there below. So if you want to skip to the certain section that you're looking for. Now, with that being said, let me tell you what Splice is. Splice is pretty much a sound library, at least in my perspective, because it has multiple features, right? One, you're able to rent it on plugins. Two, you're able to get samples. And three, you're able to get MIDIs. So pretty much everything to help enhance your sound, Splice offers. So this is the rent it on plugin page for Splice. They also offer some free plugins if you want to download some of these here. And let's say you go to the rent it on page and let's say we click on Serum. It gives you like a price point, also a duration, but you're also able to try the plugin for three days, see if you like it before you commit to the plan. So this is going to be the sounds page. And pretty much when you go on here, it shows you the top packs on the right. It shows you what's new. And it also shows you some highlighted packs that you're able to get. And to the left over here, it has some filters. So you have the browse. Over here, you have the charts, which shows you the top packs, the top labels. You're also able to get some presets over here. You're able to download some MIDIs as well. If you don't want to get like an exact sample, but you have an instrument in mind, you're able to just get that MIDI and drag it in there. And you also have the like section, which pretty much shows the splice samples that you liked. And you also have the download section, which shows you pretty much everything that you received. So how does splice work when it comes to getting sounds, right? So you have multiple plans over here. One starts at $7.99 a month, gives you 100 credits, $13.99 for 300 credits, $21.99 for 600 credits, and $29.99 for 1,000 credits. Per one credit, you're able to get one sound. So now I'm gonna show you guys the breakdown of how to get some sounds from Splice. Let's say I go to an instrument, you have different filtration systems. So you go to drums and it breaks it down for you specifically. So if you're looking for kicks, snares, hats, whatever, you have it there, vocals, synth, it gives you like a specific thing that you're looking for to make it easier or you can just view everything, right? So let's say we go to keys and go to piano. Over here on the top, you also have even more filters to help you find exactly what you're looking for. You're able to go by BPM. You could put like, for example, 150 or you can even put a range. Let's say 145 to 150. It shows you every piano pretty much that's from the 145 to 150 BPM. You're also able to go even further. You can change the key on there. Let's say you want to go for like an F minor. And boom, it shows you everything that's available in F minor. Rather than going through every single sound yourself, you're able to filter it to get the exact sound you're looking for. And you're also able to go through genre. So if you want to go through hip hop, trap, R&B, whatever it is that you're looking for, they have a filtration system to make it as easy as possible. You're also able to filter it based on loops and one shots just to make it easier to find what you're looking for. So now I'm going to test out some sounds and download a few of them just to show you how it works. So let's say we go to key and we're going to put A, A minor. We're going to put 150 BPM. We're going to go to genre. Let's put trap. And this time, let's say I get a loop, right? So this is what we end up getting right here. And now you can click on one of them and go through the sound. And you can also use your arrow key so I could go down. And when you press the left key, it starts it back. Now, unfortunately, you won't be able to hear it because my screen record capture is only working on Logic Pro X, but pretty much that's how it works. And let's say you like a specific sound, you're able to download it right here by using one of your credits. Notice how this went from 437 to 436. Let's say I download this one again to show you. Boom, right? Now let's say you're not too sure about the sound, but you like it and you want to test out some other sounds, you're able to hit the like button right here. And when you go to the like page, it shows you everything that you liked. So if you're not quite sure about the sound at the moment, you can listen to it again in this section. And if you are confident, you can just hit the download button right there. Super easy. Now when you download a sound, it goes directly to the Splice desktop app. And I believe when you get Splice, it sends you a link so you're able to get the app. And you're able to listen to it through here. And you're able to go through the filters one more time to find that specific sound. Now let me import a sound into Logic Pro X to give you an example of how it works. So I got my trap template open here and I got my melody. I can just drag it in here. Super easy. And then I'm also able to do the same thing with drums. So let's say I got this snare right here. I could take this sound over here, drag it directly into sampler. So that way you could have it playing on multiple keys and octaves. Now with the desktop app as well, you're able to filter it even further. You go based on instrument, packs, genres, likes, collections. And you're also able to go to the search bar over here. And let's say we type in 150 BPM. Boom, it shows you everything that has that 150 BPM tagged on it. So pretty cool. 
Now what I'm going to show you is how to create instruments through Splice. I'm not sure if it works on every DAW. I'm only showing you Logic Pro X. So let me walk you through that real quick. Let's say we go to Browse, Instruments, Keys. We go here, put one shot, and let's just download, for example, this one here. Now it shows up right here. All you have to do is take it over here, put it under Quick Sampler Original. Now when you go to sample through Logic Pro X, it pretty much goes based on the entire octave. So you turn that one shot into an instrument. And let's say you like the sound right here, you're able to go to factory default. You can put save as, we'll call this one right here, splice piano. So next time you open this up, you have it right there for you as a preset. You're able to click on it. And then boom. And you pretty much just made an instrument. So definitely a cool feature in my perspective. I feel like a lot of people don't mention this, but again, I'm only talking about Logic Pro X. I'm not quite sure if FL Studio and other dolls have it, but I feel like this is definitely a feature that's super underrated when it comes to using Splice. So now I'm gonna walk you guys through the Splice mobile app. So pretty much when you go on the Splice mobile app, this is gonna be the front page right there for you guys. I'm gonna show you the recent releases, the top packs, also some highlighted packs as well at the bottom. You're able to go to the search icon, click instrument, genre, filter through it and find the sound that you like. You're able to test it out right there on the spot. It also shows you your downloads over here, plus the ones that you already liked. And on the last page, it's gonna show you the amount of credits that you have. Now let's say I'm about to go to Brass and Woodwinds, right? I'm able to listen to the sample right there on the spot. I'm able to download it. And let's say I want to like a certain sample. I can just click on this here, click on it, and put the heart right there, and boom. I'm able to do that. Now, this is my biggest gripe with the Splice app, right? Let's say I scroll all the way down here, and I like this one here. Notice how it took me all the way back to the top. So now I have to keep scrolling down again to find that sample. And let's say you're one of those people that's going through it sample by sample. I mean, imagine how annoying that is that now I don't even know where that sample is. So that's like my biggest gripe with the Splice app that it's really tough for me to like, you know, like a sample here. And then let's say I'm trying to like click this one now. It takes me all the way back to the top. So that's like my biggest con when it comes to the Splice mobile app. But I really do like the fact that they have a mobile app because sometimes I'm not gonna lie to you, I sit at night and I'm bored. I'm like, I don't wanna watch YouTube videos. I don't wanna do this. I kinda wanna be productive, but I'm lazy at the same time. I don't feel like going on my laptop and making beats. I'm literally able to go to Splice listen to some samples, download some that I like, and work on it the next day. So definitely a thumbs up for me on that. So now I'm gonna give you guys the pros and cons of Splice. So the first pro when it comes to Splice is it sparks your creativity. Let's say you're going through a mental block, you're not quite sure what direction you wanna take, you're able to just pull up a melody, a one shot, and boom, you're able to start. Now the second pro when it comes to Splice is it helps break mental block. Now what do I mean by that? Let's say you have a piano sample, some drums, 808s, everything is there, but you wanna add like maybe a flute. You try playing the flute like 100 times and nothing worked. You're able to go through Splice, filter it down, find the same exact key, same BPM, and maybe drag it in there, and it could potentially work. Now, the third benefit when it comes to Splice is you're able to create your own instruments. As you saw earlier, I was able to drag a one-shot into Sampler and make a piano out of it. So let's say you don't have Omnisphere or native instruments, you're able to just pay the $7.99 a month from Splice, maybe get like 20 piano one-shots, add it in there, and boom, you have a piano library. Now, the fourth benefit to having Splice is they always have constant updates. They always have new packs coming out, new midis, new presets. So you always have something new to drop your credits on, which is definitely a thumbs up. The fifth benefit to having Splice, guys, is they have top producers on this platform right here. To give you some examples, you have Southside, Sunny Digital, Lex Luger, Oliver. I mean, the list goes on. So you have top producer sounds that you're able to have access to for as little as $7.99 a month. That's incredible to me, especially like the drum sounds and stuff like that. Amazing. The sixth benefit to Splice, guys, is you're able to get one sound at a time. Now, let's say I go to this South Side I Invented Trap sample pack. You can download the entire pack one shot, or you can just literally get that one sound that you're looking for. So it pretty much is like an affordable way for you to shop around rather than buy one pack at a time and spending a lot of money. Now, when it comes to the cons of Splice, I only have two things I want to say about it. One is the price point. Now, you might be saying to yourself, $7.99 is not that bad, right? I agree. But for example, for me guys, I don't use Splice that often. As you can see, I have 430 credits and I'm currently on the $7.99 a month plan, which is 100 samples, right? I have 430 credits right now. Like I think they should offer a plan that's slightly cheaper, maybe like $4.99 a month or $3.99 a month and giving you 50 samples. Because at that point, I'm able to use the 50 samples and not pretty much waste another $5 a month that I'm not using. Because if you think about it, I pretty much just spent $30 right now on Splice and I didn't use those samples. Now the good thing about Splice though is when you do pay that $7.99 a month and let's say you had 100 samples and you only use 40 of them, those 60 roll over, which is definitely a thumbs up for me for them. But that's my only gripe. It's like if they had just a slightly cheaper plan with 50 samples, for example, I think that'd be perfect, but that's just me being nitpicky. Now, the second con I have with Splice is not really towards Splice, but it's more about the producer mentality walking into Splice, if that makes sense. 
So let me give you an example. Let's say you're a beginning producer who doesn't know any chords, doesn't know any melodies, doesn't know how to come up with them, and all you do is rely on splice samples and drag it in there. Well, that's cool, right? If you want to do that, I'm not mad at you. It's up to you. But at the same time, you got to understand that you're going to have a hard time coming up with counter melodies because you're relying on splice the entire time. You're also going to be upset when you find out that somebody else has the same exact sample as you, and then you're wondering why your beats sound like everybody else's. Well, you guys are using the same sample, right? So that's kind of a con when it comes to relying on splice. Um, remember that splice is a tool. It's supposed to help you leverage yourself as a producer, but don't make it the end all be all is my thing. So that's my breakdown video right there for you guys on splice. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below. If you did find it helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button with the notification bell so you won't miss out on the next video. With that being said, thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.